It's August 11, 2021, and we're here now with Alice Britton and Delany O'Hara of Mani from Manitoba 150. So, can you tell us something about this exhibit? Yeah, so this yeah. exhibit is called Nikat Makwin, which is a Métis word that means leaving something behind. And it is filled with Inuit artwork from the new Kamayak building at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. And so thanks to our sponsors at Manitoba Credit Unions and Birchwood Auto, we are able to bring it around Manitoba to rural communities so that they can see some of the art inside. So will this be uh, a day, uh, like, how long will this be displayed uh, until? This will be going into in, September. Until September, uh, across the province. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, what's the next uh, destination of the? Um, tomorrow will be in Rivers. Okay. And then. And then we head back to Winnipeg for the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a few local things there, and then next week we head out again uh, to Orberg and some other small places near Winnipeg. Mm, okay. So this this displays. We can see it at the Winnipeg Art Museum or at this is Gallery. This a small sample mm -hmm. of what's in the new Kamuyork building at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're taking a sample oh, around okay. Manitoba. Uh, we're now here with, with Alvin who, uh, from Winnipeg Art Gallery. He will take a tour uh, to the exhibit. So, yeah, can you? What are these, Alvin? <laughs> yeah, so like I um, mentioned before, my name is Alvin Carias. Yeah. Um, I'm here uh, taking, um, taking care of the artwork. So as you see over here, we have many different medias, uh, many different themes. We carry artwork from all over um, the northern areas. They're all Inuit artists. Um, so we're touching a little bit of symbolism, which is the nookshuk that you see here, mm -hmm. as well as the tools like the quillic right here, um, the ulu, and a little bit of like um, everyday practices like the craftsmanship of works. Um, and then we see the treatments of the everyday life that you see in the um, uh, felt pieces. We're also carrying some of the stencil prints, like you see this little tiny ptarmigan. Um, birds and the bees and so uh, it's a good mixture as you see there's a little bit of uh, expressions that you see the faces uh, material wise these are soapstones and this one is actually made out of whalebone um, so we got a good mixture of everything um, that it's related to the Inuit artworks um, they go from again the animals you see here to the campsites over here even some expressions with the face again and the animal scenes. And we also touch a little bit the cultural aspects, mm -hmm. um, like you see over here, which is the story of Nuli Eluk. Um, she is a half fish, half human sea creature. Mm -hmm. And depending what artist uh, community they're from, um, she will look more human-like or she will look more fish-like that you see right there. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's, it explores a lot of what we have here, and it's quite it's something to be on the moment to see the actual detailing that you see here. So it's a good uh, experience, and like we mentioned before, this is a portion of what we have at the Kamayuk, which is close to the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, in there, we have the largest collection of Inuit artwork in there. Um, so we wanted to give you guys, uh, bring to different communities the artwork um, to visit and show everyone. So this is a free event. Mm -hmm. and, and then, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'm here to uh, help out or in any ways. So thank you. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs>